Welcome back to my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host Shaheen, and today's video we are going to look where exactly the opportunities lie, how ex much of the price action in gold and silver is left. Before we continue on our daily time frame analysis, it is essential that we un understand where we are on a weekly time frame analysis. It will put us our minds in rest and we'll see where exactly the large mark it market is. So it's uh, the price section is more clear on a uh, on gold and we will also discuss on silver. Uh, let's have a look on a weekly time frame analysis first of all. Uh, don't worry, I'm as I said that I'm going to discuss the daily time frame analysis, but it's crucial for us to uh, discuss the day the weekly time frame analysis. Okay, and let me delete these levels. So we have, first of all, we have seen an impulsive uh, move on a cycle degree and we have seen a correction within the correction. After the correction completed, we have seen wave 1 and wave 2 and wave 3 and wave 4. Just because we have seen wave 4, we can uh, draw right four, wave 4 right over here. Is no indication uh, that we are going to see a smaller wave uh, 5 in gold and that will be the uh, end of it. So we are expecting that wave 5 is going to be the uh, much longer than anticipated uh, in gold all right we are not expecting for a, a price movement like at this one and then that will be end of it uh, my research is indicating that we are expecting another uh, two years easily in terms of price uh, long in terms of time and price so we're expecting anywhere from 18 months to 24 months uh, it can push to 36 months that's three years uh, bullish move we are at the beginning of a very very nice rally uh, in the price of gold there is expected that we can actually actually see the double uh, in the price of gold in next two to three years right now gold is trading at 1970 so we're talking about gold being at four thousand dollars in next two to three years so that will give you some an idea of where exactly we are we have seen one and two uh, three and four uh, and we are expecting that wave five is going to be really long and extended price action and let's have a look at silver weekly time frame and then we can analyze the market on a single uh, weekly time frame on silver once again we have seen uh, price action I believe we have seen a larger price action with uh, impulsive move and a correction move so expecting we can look at it as wave one and wave two giving us a, a link that we are at the beginning of a wave three we have seen a price impulsive price action and a corrective price action so this is one thing we have only seen one leg in the uh, impulsive and we have seen a corrective move we can call it wave two and right now we are in the beginning of wave three that means that this wave is going to be really strong and a similar action as i said we are expecting a similar stronger bullish price movement in gold so right now i'm expecting that we all see some stronger price action in gold and in coming months and uh, probably at uh, this year is going to be very very interesting for gold and silver that being said, uh, the regular, uh, it just because the market is uh, bullish does not mean that we will not see corrections. But we need to understand that the correction are going to be uh, short and uh, not short in terms of the price action, short in terms of the time taken to be recovered. All right, let me repeat again. The corrections on, a, on this degree are going to be short in terms of time. A lot of time it will take less time as compared to the previous experiences uh, to cover the market if we see we'll see definitely we'll see corrections that will actually last to 50 percent of an impulse wave 62.5 percent of an impulse wave but those corrections will be f filled on very quickly this is going to be one of the main property of this particular market section of gold and silver let's have a look uh, what do we have what chances do we have where, where do we fall on a price action on gold and silver uh, on a daily time frame so I'm just zooming in on a four hourly time frame we can clearly see that we have seen one of the correction ending right over here this is an truncated price action we have seen first price first leg of the correction we have seen second leg of the correction and the second third leg of the correction right over here which is supposed to go further down 
and I, would, I was uh, expecting that we'll see a deeper price movement, but they did not happen. So heavy, heavy truncation has, affected, has happened right over here. Heavy, high, higher degree truncation. After the correction was complete right over here, we have definitely seen an impulsive move and a corrective move right over here, ending over here. So this is I'm expecting right now. Keep an eye on these levels. I'm expecting that we will actually be carrying on from this bullish movement. We have two points, one is 24.85, which is the other one is 24 dollars. I'm expecting that will be, be bullish. An important point here is that the only time when you reverse your bearish, uh, reverse your bullish uh, uh, forecast or reverse your bullish uh, trade is when a previous low is broken on a daily time frame or on a four hourly time frame. So this is our four hourly time frame. This is one previous low. The only time you will go bearish on this particular market, which is right now silver, is if, if 24.85 is broken. In that case, we'll go bearish, and then it's not a guarantee that we are going further down. It means that we will go down for, and we can reverse temporarily and then go up back again. I'm not saying you're going to go. I'm giving a, a guideline here that in a bullish market, you will not be bearish unless the previous low on a daily time frame is broken let me read it again so in a bullish market like we are seeing in gold and silver right now you will not go bearish unless the previous low on a daily time frame or four hourly time frame is broken so right now we have clearly seen right now that we have seen truncation right over here uh, our one of the corrections right ended right over here that actually started right from over here so you can consider this whole price movement as an impulsive correction, uh, impulsive and correction. And right now we are seeing impulsion, impulsive wave and correction. And right now from here we are going bullish. So next week I'm going to be bullish on gold and silver. And these are the important price levels which will help you get into the trading. It will also give you uh, some good reference points to keep in mind. I will be posting more videos if you are seeing some drastic price action on the reverse side and I'll give you some wave analysis where exactly we are uh, looking at the market. So this is gold once again on a daily time frame we have come out of the triangle wave 4 is complete we are at the beginning of a larger larger bullish move in gold and silver we have seen um, price movement which is bullish we are expecting a deeper correction um, but once again uh, the major major truncation has happened right over here we have seen first leg of the correction we have seen second leg of the correction and once again this leg was heavily heavily truncated we were expecting this to follow on in this way some around 1825 1800 dollar but we can see that there's a lot of buyers came in so what's the correction that actually started right from over here has ended right over here the another we have seen impulsive move and we have seen a corrective move and then we have another imp seen impulsive move so these reference points are essential for you to keep in mind of going long. One is 1891, all right, or 1890, you can say. And the other point right over here is 1914, or yeah, 1914 uh, is the second point. So we are bullish right now, and we can stay, keep these uh, reference points in mind. I do not want to indulge you in a small uh, wave 1212 because I do not want to you guys to miss the miss the trend so we are strongly bullish on gold we're strongly bullish in silver we are seeing, expected to see some resistance uh, on the previous top which is 2075 right over here let me see where it is on weekly time frame uh, so we expected to see some resistance right over here that does not mean that we are going to go bearish all right it means if you want you can take partly uh, some of your profits and wait for the price action what happens or you can want you can actually leave your trade running until a previous low is broken the whole idea is to stay in the market if you want to take small profit it's not going to help you you want to stay in the market for extended period of time and for that the only thing you close your position when a previous low is broken we'll also keep an eye on a uh, flat corrections on zigzag corrections and if we have seen an extended a price for, uh, movement in gold and silver I'll be giving you guys where are important levels on a correction time frame in next future thank you once again for joining me have a good one and enjoy